Hi everyone, it's Dave. I'm here today with a Timu haul. This is a Christmas present to myself, you could say. So let's get right into it and take a look at what I got. this aside and I'll look at it one at a time. Okay. First item is some epoxy resin. So this is a one-to-one -one part A and B. And two hundred and thirty seven mil in each bottle, which is eight fluid ounces. There's some pipettes. used to this brand before so it'll be interesting to see what it's like it apparently resists yellowing and you have 40 minutes of working time and it's low odor self leveling and crystal clear Four pipettes all up and some stirring sticks. And some gloves. pretty chain links on there oh, except they bend easily now I'm pretty sure this was 24 karat gold plated so this will be a nice chain maybe I can put some 
pendants on it or just wear it on its own in this during the summer. this is. I don't think it's rose quartz. I'm not 100% sure what it is. So, but I've been wearing a lot of crystal beaded bracelets lately. And I've been wearing a lot of bangles as well. So I've got a couple of these. The beads aren't too big, but they're not too small either. Oh, I think they're just right. Okay, here's another bracelet bangle slash bracelet because it looks like a bangle, but it actually stretches their beads. finish. I'm going to put that one on. Matches my rings which these are from Timu by the way. I did haul them a while ago. and looks like cat's eye. I need to get a, a light blue bangle or bracelet actually. Let's see. That shine. Very strong elastic on the elasticized string or something or rubber. They look nice together as well. Let's just put these two together and see what they look like. Um, 
wood jewelry. These are earrings. No, they're not. They're rings. Yay! I forgot. This is in the rose gold. And let's just take them out. see if I've sized them right. I purchased one of those uh, ring sizing things. Um, yes, and I always like the middle finger rings on that finger when it comes to costume jewellery. Quite nice. So there's a crystal diamond tees as well as the green stone. Then you have the major solitaire type. Some crystals on the side, the band, and I think this might be the same as this one. Yeah, they're both the same, these two rings. So you could wear them alone or all together. Very nice, I'm happy with those. Now let's see, I think that's it as far as jewellery goes. Now I did buy a lot of moulds and moulds for not for resin but for clay. I might just open all of these and I'll be right back. Okay, I found another bangle. Just like the green one, but in a light blue. So I did get myself a light blue bangle. So yeah, they come in an assortment of colours. And I've been wearing a lot of blue lately. I'm liking blue. They feel really nice on as well. It has an iridescent finish to it. It's very pretty. It doesn't really go with those, but okay. Now back to the molds. So I've been getting into air dry clay and I'm wanting to decorate some baubles up for next year. It's a bit late this year. It's already the beginning of December. So these are, I think you can use them for chocolate as well. But I'm going to use them for air dry clay. And these are snowflakes. And look at all the different snowflakes you can get. This feels really nice. So soft and smooth. And squishy. But put those on any project. You can put them on boxes, gift boxes. You can make some clay snowflakes and then paint them. Just use your imagination. They're not that deep. Some of them are a bit deeper than others. This one's deeper, but that would look nice on tags as well. So there's that one. And I thought this one would look amazing wrapped around a bauble. Roses. Mm. 
and they're very fine. So I hope they turn out. I don't know how long the mould will last, how often you can use them, but we will see. And I bought this design. So, do you call that damask or damask? Damask. the classic design and that would look nice on a big bauble as well and these are so cute these are little birds and there's some flowers and leaves so you get the three different birds there's a leaf there and some flowers Hours. So it'll be interesting to see how they turn out. And one more. This one's a big one. Strips. They will look beautiful. Just stuck around the centre of a bauble. And then paint it up with metallic paints or something. So it's all different designs. This one's a bit more or less intricate than the others, but they have so many to choose from. So I'm going to have fun. This would be a nice craft to do in winter. During the winter months actually. So I can't wait to eventually start that. Along with the clay thing, I bought these little punch out circles. Circle punches, I don't know what you call them. But you get quite a lot of them. Starting from tiny, tiny, small to the big. You see the circle? So that would be nice. Making some different size circles. The clay. This would be good with air dry clay and polymer clay. But I won't take them out because they will just fall everywhere. But storage so these little bags would be perfect for ephemera I bought these to in the mind of using them for jewelry like necklaces and things beaded necklaces the more chunky things and I have these little round rings at the top so you can hang them from something or it's one of those I don't know if you call them snap lock but they seal and they're quite thick too so this is probably about 18 centimeters by 10 centimeters maybe something like that You get one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I just thought I would try out one packet before I go buy more. And let me know if you have another idea for the use of these. But yeah, you can put all sorts of craft items in here. I don't know if they would look any good hanging from anything. But I'm guessing that's what that's for. Okay. These are so cute. I had to buy three packets. These are balloon dogs. Look at this one. They come in different colours. There's a the balloon dog. With a pearl collar. And then you get... These rings are pretty. The silver jump rings. You get a pearl and a flower with a little pearl. They're very light. I think they're solid. This definitely isn't. But very cute. And I like the, the swing clip at the top. So that can make, that would make a nice keychain. Can add some more beads to it. Make a bead dangle to suit that. Very cute. I wanted to buy more, but you have to stop somewhere, don't you? On the theme of balloon dogs, I bought some small ones. Now, I can't remember the prices and I'm not going to look them up. This isn't a review for them, so... These are... Uh, they feel like metal, some sort of a metal with enamel on the top. I wish there was a gold as well as a silver. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think the colours were a little bit better online, but they're random, so you really don't know what you're going to get. Are these ones you will love? I love them. These are big balloon dogs. Okay, last item. Look, they are so cute. Now these are not solid. They look like they could be, but there's a seam here and they're light. So I thought they were solid when I ordered them. They look like they're made out of resin, but yeah, they are hollow inside, but they are so cute. This one's pink, it has the iridescent finish to it as well, but it has some glitter. See the glitter? Very pretty. So I've got one pink, a white. So that would make nice keychains too. I just don't know how long they will last because they're not solid, so I need to see if I can find a balloon dog mould and I can make my own. So these two are purple. don't know if you can tell that, but they are very light purple. And then I have two blues. And they look really cute close up, all pretty, beautiful. OK, 
colour. I just had something fall on the floor. So that's it guys, that's my Timu haul. Not an awful lot but plenty to keep me busy. I'm really keen on trying the resin. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Look after yourselves and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.